Okay, today we're going to look at controlling a solid state relay with LabVIEW uh, based on the temperature. What we're going to do is turn a fan on, and I'm using a USB 6009, so USB 6009 from National Instruments. That's going to give the uh, analog out of 5 volts and then also for the input I'm using a uh, National Instruments NI9211 with a USB 9162 carrier for that module and then for the solid state relay I'm using a, uh, a very cheap one that I found on Amazon uh, TC48D25 uh, by Twideck and it has a 3 to 32 volt DC input and then it's controlling up to a 480 and I believe this one's ready for 25 amps. Got my thermocouple wired up on into the uh, TC0 plus is the yellow. There we go. TC0 plus is the yellow, TC0 minus is the red, the type K thermocouple. There's the model NI9211, the carrier's uh, 9162. And then the way that I've got this wired, and this is wired into a, uh, AO0 in the ground, DAC module. USB 6009. So my red, my red and white wires wired there, which then go into this solid state relay here. So the white is the negative, the red is the positive. Got this TC 48D25, and then the way that I have this plugged into the, the outlet, I have three a uh, two prong cable here connected to the hot lead is going to my solid state relay and then back into this the neutral lead is just going directly from here to there so then the fan the fan itself is plugged in this socket here so the first thing we're going to do is try to uh, get our, our temperature input so we're going to Go back here to the block diagram, create a while loop. Let me add a control here. And then we're going to find our DAC assistant. We want to acquire a signal, temperature, and a thermocouple. Zero and a type K thermocouple, and let's just change this. Well, it's fine, 100 to zero to 100 is okay, but it's a type K. Let's make sure it's running. Yeah, it's seeing the correct value there. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to uh, I should create an indicator if I can, but it's not letting me. So we'll put a uh, indicator here. All right, and based on this signal, we want to have an output of, of our five volt signal to control our solid state relay. We want to generate a voltage, and in the way the 
DAC module is hooked up now is I have it hooked, the red uh, positive wire hooked to A O zero, and the white one hooked to the ground. Also based on the input of this numeric. So we're going to say if it's a comparison. Let's say if our temperature is greater than whatever the user just decides. So let's put a uh, control here. Say uh, yeah, switch if above. So if it's above whatever the user inputs here, then we want this to switch on. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to create a uh, case structure. Such that if it's true, this uh, will send a 5 volt signal and I'm going to control C move this to the next the false case and control V here and if it's false it will be 0 it won't output any voltage so the maximum voltage this thing can output is 5 volts so that's what we're giving we're giving it saying hey we want a 5 volt signal the temperature is above uh, whatever the user chooses all right. And to make it clear, we'll also include a uh, LED here. So if it's LED is uh, on, our fan should be on. This is our output temperature. Then you can make these as big as you'd like. And you can change the font size and all this uh, if you'd like. Just to make it more clear. And then increase the size of the stop button. Alright, so we'll say if it's above. 30 if we wanted to switch on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug everything in. All right, the fan is not running, so I'm going to run my program now. Just tested this and this worked. And that worked. So something is going on with this uh, VI here. Let me try this again. Okay, so it seems to be working now. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fingers on the, uh, the thermocouple tip, see if I can raise it above 30. Let's see if it switches the fan on. Yeah, fan just came on. Indicator didn't come on though. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, I hadn't wired up the uh, the indicator. That would be a that'd be the problem there. There we go. All right, let's try this again. 
All right, so you can see the temperature reading is not above 30. And now I'm going to put my fingers on it again, try to get it above 30. Now the indicator did come on, and the fan has come on as well. All right, another thing that's a good practice is once you stop your program, that doesn't necessarily mean that this will automatically go back to uh, turning this DAC assistant off to a zero, to a zero voltage. So if you would end your program, your fan would keep running. So one way that you can do this is if um, your stop button is true, then you can send this uh, a zero signal. So, you can then insert another case structure here to do that. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. There's, there's quite a few ways. Um, so, what you can do is actually run this through this next case structure. So, by saying, all right, this is, now this is true. Let me move this down here so I don't get this, a mess of wires. So if our stop button is true, then now we want uh, this to be zero. So I'm going to copy Control C here, and then move uh, this to zero. So we'll have this line actually moving through this structure. And then back into our system here. All right. It's true we want zero. Delete this. If it's true, we, we want this to stop, this signal to stop here, because we don't really care what that is. We want this to be zero no matter what. But if it's false, so button has not been hit, we want to carry on as normal. Just slide that down. So while this is working, let's just let's run it and you see what's going on. Is when it's false, uh, whenever the temperature is below uh, that set point of 30 that we've got now. Then this will go to zero, and it'll it'll stay zero. If it's true, it'll be five, and it'll stay five because the stop button hasn't been hit. But if the if it stop has button is hit, then this thing will move through. So as the program moves, it moves from the top left to the, the bottom right as the program moves through this loop. So as it's moving through, it's connecting. Uh, it will see that this is true. It'll it'll disregard this 5 that's coming in and change it to a 0 and now uh, let's add an indicator zero this is the voltage output that this is seeing okay this is the old voltage output that the DAC module is seeing so now zero because uh, of the temperature being low. You see the voltage is now five, but now when I stop the program, you see it went to zero before it turned off. So now the fan is off.